girls in this new panic nail art video i'll show you this braided nail art design done in mute colors but you can also of course use the colors that you'd like and some glitter to warm up all these colors. You can of course use just two polishes or use even more than four polishes if you'd like. Then you can use very thin glitter flakes, a top coat, a toothpick and if you don't have one use a glitter polish or the best option is to have a glitter liner. Today I'll do it with a toothpick. First apply a base and start with any one of the three polishes then make what looks like a slanted French manicure. So I make a thick strip from my upper nail. Don't worry, it also works on short nails, but there will be only a few strips. The drawback is that between each layer, you will have to let it dry. Of course, meanwhile, you can do the other nails. I take another polish, dark brown. I do the same thing, but this time on the other side with another color. See that I don't apply it until the end, since it will be covered by other colors and won't take time to dry. And if you have 8 layers of polish at the end of your nail, it will never dry. Then I do the same as the first strip, slightly lower this time with the third polish. And then it goes on like that, left to right, right to left. With the colors that you have chosen, it's important to use an opaque polish. Otherwise, you will have to apply 3 layers and it will take too much time to dry. If you have shorter nails, you'll have to make the strips closer to each other. Otherwise, you won't have enough space for some more. I apply my last strip. And now it's time to apply the glitter flakes. If you don't have glitter varnish, this is how to proceed to make your own. Drop some glitter flakes in some top coats and mix. And that's how you'll obtain your own glitter polish. It's important to use a top coat that does not dry fast so that you can have enough time. With my toothpick, I will apply the glitter flakes on the outlines of my design to mark it out and make it more beautiful. And finally, I apply the final top coat, and if you want, you can apply a rhinestone to make it look even better. I hope that you enjoyed this panic nail art, it's a very easy one, the hardest part of it is to make straight lines. Some girls do it with scotch tape, but it takes forever, it really takes...